Welcome to Movie Caps. Today, I will show you an action slash fantasy thriller from 2015, titled, Pixels. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. In the summer of 1982, a young Sam Brenner, takes his bicycle to his best buddy Will Cooper's house, to inform him that the town's new arcade had opened. They spend the entire day there, with Brenner dominating practically every game, and Cooper winning a Chewbacca mask on the crane machine. Cooper finds a flyer for the arcade game World Championships, and tells Brenner he should bring his abilities here, after seeing how good he is at gaming. He asks Brenner how he is so good at Pac-Man, to which Brenner replies, it's easy, since there is a pattern there, and you just have to see it. At the ceremony, the MC announces that a time capsule, containing characteristics of today's culture, will be sent into space. Brenner and Cooper encounter Ludlow Lamasoff, a strange but clever child, who is head over heels in love with Lady Lisa, the game's main heroine. They see him talking to Lady Lisa, and professing his love for her. When Ludlow sees that they are looking at him, he immediately pulls back from the machine, and says that he wasn't talking to anyone. Brenner and Cooper ask him whether he is the Wonder Kid. He asks them if the government told him that. Surprised at the response, they ask him if he wants to be their friend, and Ludlow agrees. At that time, gamer Eddie Plant comes in with an entourage. He immediately starts putting down the kids in the room. All the gamers then start competing with each other. In the final round, it's only Brenner and Eddie Plant. They have to play Donkey Kong. During the game, Eddie says that playing by the patterns won't work this time, as this game is a little different from the rest. Brenner loses, and Eddie starts taunting him again. This embarrasses Brenner, and he starts to storm out, but his friend stops him, and tells him that he is still going to be successful, and is going to go to MIT. Brenner is now an adult, and works for a software installation firm. While Cooper is the President of the United States, he is regularly criticized in the media, most notably for failing to read correctly in a kindergarten class, and shouting at a little girl. Cooper tells Brenner, that he is made for much more than just his job, and that he needs to channel his inner genius towards something more productive. Cooper then compares Brenner to a blacksmith, this offends him, and he says that he will get back at him for this. Brenner then shouts at Cooper in front of the media, saying that if he took away all the libraries, then how will the kids learn? This offends the public, and they start chanting against Cooper, as Brenner drives away. The movie then shows, a shot of what appears to be an alien ship in the sky. The ship releases some drones, and as they come down from the sky, they vaporize aboard, which shows the location to be Guam. The military facility in Guam detects this dangerous signal. The base is put on high alert, and the soldiers prepare to fight, with one soldier showing confusion as to what is attacking them. But the soldiers are quickly defeated, which is clear from the destroyed base. The invaders then kidnap one soldier. Brenner travels to a home to perform his duties. There he meets Violet Van Patten and her son Maddie, who informs him that his mother is going through a divorce. Violet is weeping in the closet, while Brenner is working outside. He consoles her by listening to her problems, and the two of them have a glass of wine. He leans in for a kiss, since he feels they're having a special moment, but she turns him down. Brenner then leaves the house, and sees that Violet is following him. They even stop at a signal, where Brenner asks her why she is following him. He then receives a call from Cooper, instructing him to report to the White House as soon as possible. Brenner then makes his way to the White House, while Violet follows him. At the gate of the White House, he asks the guard to stop the lady, but it turns out that she is a lieutenant colonel, and works at the White House. When they go in, a White House secretary tells Violet, that she is needed in the Situation Room. Violet looks at Brenner haughtily, but then she tells Brenner that the President wants to see him. Brenner then makes a little more fun of Violet, and goes to Cooper's office, where he is shown footage of the attack, and it looks like characters from the game Galaga attack the base. Brenner then tells the President's Security Council about what attacked them, but they say that they cannot pin the blame on a game, and that Brenner needs to leave. Later, Brenner returns home, to discover Ludlow in his vehicle. Ludlow surprises him, and Brenner responds by hitting him in the face. Ludlow then informs him, that the aliens are sending monsters, with classic video game designs, to attack. Ludlow got a message that used distorted footage of 1980s luminaries, like Ronald Reagan and Madonna, to outline their plans. They are using the video games as a challenge, allowing the people of Earth three rounds to fight back, or it's game over for everyone. They also demonstrate that the soldier they kidnapped was a trophy. They show Cooper the footage, and conclude, that the next assault will take place in India. Admiral Porter protests to Brenner and Ludlow being brought in to teach soldiers to fight back, by showing them how to play these games. Violet demonstrates to Brenner and Ludlow, 
that intense light beams destroy the pixels. Later, Cooper is visiting a bakery with his wife Jane, when his aide informs him, that the next assault will take place in London. Everyone travels to London, in order to meet Corporal Hill. As creatures from the game centipede attack, the troops prepare for battle. Brenner instructs the soldiers to aim for the head, and predict the pattern, but they are unsuccessful. With Cooper's approval, Brenner and Ludlow seize command, and attack the centipede. The ultimate boss arrives in town, and almost devours a little kid, before Brenner shoots it away for good. The aliens use the Fantasy Island folks to send a message, congratulating Earth on their triumph, and awarding them the duck hunt dog as a prize, but they also remind them, that they are up two to one. The next attack is expected to take place in New York City. Ludlow and Cooper agree, that they need additional aid, and that they need someone else to help them. So, Brenner, Cooper, and Violet visit a jail, in search of Eddie, a resentful and hardened crook, arrested for tampering with phone bills. He continues to harass Brenner, and make self-serving demands in exchange for his assistance, including a private island for himself, a lifetime exemption from paying taxes, and a meeting with Serena Williams and Martha Stewart. Cooper agrees to let him out of prison, but only with the no taxes agreement. The crew travels to New York, to learn that Pac-Man is the next boss. Violet gives the men four automobiles, based on Pac-Man's ghosts, one of which is driven by the game's inventor Toru Iwatani. When the crew arrives in downtown Manhattan, where Pac-Man is chewing through everything, Iwatani tries to appeal to Pac-Man's good side, by talking to him like a parent. Unfortunately, this results in his hand being pixelated and chomped. Pac-Man is pursued by the remaining three. He consumes a power pellet, which gives him 10 seconds to devour the ghosts, and then it eats Ludlow's automobile, as he manages to jump out. After rapidly catching up to him, Eddie hits the first Pac-Man. Eddie takes out the second one as well he drives into the sea as a result of the third. Pac-Man is pursued by Brenner to a parking garage, where he discovers another power pellet. Brenner drives backward in a parking garage while counting down. The power pellet wears off at the final second, giving Brenner a chance to beat Pac-Man, and their handed cue bird as a prize. As a reward for their valor, the team is invited to a ball, that is being held in their honor. Violet accepts Brenner's invitation to be his date, and her arrival in a green gown astounds him. Serena Williams is brought in by Eddie, who only showed up because she was promised an island. After Brenner spends time with Violet, the aliens deliver another message, claiming that the rules have been broken, and that they will launch a full-scale attack at any moment. Marty discovers Eddie's sunglasses in the sea, which contain cheat codes, that let him defeat Pac-Man, and also explain how he beat Brenner and Donkey Kong. As Violet watches, Eddie runs, and Maddie is abducted by the aliens. According to Q-Bert, the aliens were peaceful, until they were frightened by the time capsule. They understand they must board the ship, and confront the aliens. More electronic games, including Frogger and Defender, are brought down by the aliens in Washington DC. Brenner, Violet, and Q Burt prepare for battle, and Cooper joins them, while Ludlow stays behind to fight. To Ludlow's delight, one of the aliens takes the shape of Lady Lisa. She continues to resist him, until he admits that all he wants is to love her. They kiss when she drops her swords. Eddie arrives to the battle, and expresses regret for abandoning the squad. Brenner, Violet, Cooper, and Q Bird are transported aboard the ship, where Brenner is confronted with his greatest obstacle, Donkey Kong. As the heroes struggle to reach Maddie and the other two hostages, the ape barrels down. Brenner realizes, that he is the actual DK champion, after Maddie informs him that Eddie cheated all those years ago. Brenner crushes the barrels with the hammer, before flinging it at Donkey Kong, killing him. The remainder of the video games freeze, and are pulled back up to the ship, as a result of this. Lady Lisa is included in this, which is unfortunate for Ludlow. Before the White House, the squad is hailed as heroes. Cooper reveals, that he and the aliens have reached an agreement. Eddie reveals to Brenner, that he cheated, and that he is the best in the world. Ludlow misses Lisa, till Q-Bert transforms into her at random. Brenner and Violet start dating. Serena texts Eddie, asking him to meet her in the bedroom with Martha Stewart, who has prepared sandwiches. Eddie scurries away, giddy with anticipation. Iwatani's hand gets restored when the aliens depart Earth. Ludlow marries Lisa a year later, and the two are joyful parents of five Q-Birds. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.